The tweet from President Trump came at 8.18 this morning, and here's how it read. Great news for Ohio. Just spoke to Mary Barra, CEO of General Motors, who informed me that subject to UAW agreement, etc., GM will be selling their beautiful Lordstown plant to workhorse. Where they plan to build electric trucks, GM will also be spending $700 million in Ohio. Well, good evening. I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Keely Lovern. Well, when that tweet went public, the first question was, what is Workhorse? Followed by, what does it plan to build? We later learned Workhorse was based in Cincinnati and was known for making electric trucks and delivery drones. And then when Governor Mike DeWine spoke, we learned the deal relies heavily on a big future contract from the U.S. Postal Service. The company and the contract. It's our top story at 10. Steve Burns is the CEO of Workhorse. This was a story done by a Cincinnati TV station after Workhorse announced the world's first electric pickup truck. We wanted to make sure this could do anything a traditional pickup could do. Steve Burns has since been replaced as Workhorse CEO, but the company is still making pickups and delivery drones, which are launched off the top of trucks. This is realistic. Uh, we are testing every day, five days a week. Well, like I Googled, Googled it today, today because, because there's Google. Google. United Auto Workers Local 1112 President Dave Green learned about Workhorse much the same way as everyone else. I hear that they build electric vehicles, and uh, that's about all I know. And for this really to work, uh, it's going to take the contract with the United States Post Office. During an afternoon news conference, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine told about the Postal Service contract being put out for bid. These are pictures of the next generation electric vehicles being built by Workhorse, which look like they would work as postal trucks. The contract is for $6.3 billion to build 180,000 trucks over five years. So we're certainly going to be urging the post office to um, grant that, that contract uh, to Workhorse. Lieutenant Governor John Eusted has toured the Workhorse facility and was impressed. They're converting uh, products right now for companies like UPS. Uh, they're a very viable company, and they're a, a company that has a potential for a great future. It was quiet today outside the GM Lordstown plant, where a Save the Plant sign could be seen half covered in tall grass. It's been two months since the last cruise rolled off the line. Back at the Union Hall, President Dave Green says it's too early for him to see this as something positive. It's hard for me to um, have any positive feelings from a presidential tweet because, again, I have firsthand knowledge of his ignorance. One thing President Trump mentioned in his tweet that needs to be stressed is that the allocation of an electric vehicle like this must be approved by the United Auto Workers Union. Dave Green said he would love to see those talks start as soon as possible. 